Hi, I'm John from Just Whiskey. If you like today's show, please give it the thumbs up, <clears throat> like, and subscribe. And speaking of subscribers, we've hit over the 800 mark. I believe we're at 805 right now. So it's been trending upward very nicely. So thank you very much for everyone that does subscribe. And also a special thank you and a shout out to all my Patreons that help support this channel. Much appreciated. And remember, folks, it's just whiskey. Today, we are going to be re-reviewing and giving a full review on the Kleinleash 12-year-old Cash Strength Diageo Special Release 2022. Two weeks ago, I did a bottle opening slash neck pour slash initial thoughts and my impression of this particular bottle although not a scientifically proven theory i think it suffered from bottle shock and bottle shock is a term used to describe wine or spirits that have been jostled uh, during travel, you know, so they're coming on, on boats and then tractor trailers and this, you know, they travel many hundreds of miles and, uh, and they can be jostled and they can become the, the molecules inside that bind the fatty oils um, can, in theory, become jostled and um, unsettled, okay, and maybe more in flux. And even Ralphie, when you watch almost all of his things, you know, when he, he pours a dram, he might gently swirl it, but he always, he always says, no shaky, shaky. So um, I, I suspect that this suffered from bottle shock. So what I did, um, this has been sitting untouched for two solid weeks in my basement. Okay. Um, so I've given it time and I had it below the neck pour. Okay. So now you can see it's quite a ways below the neck pour. All right. Um, so we're going to also compare it a little bit to Klein Leash 14. And Klein Leash 14 last year was my whiskey of the year for a non peated scotch. Okay, so I thought it would do it some justice if we could do a little, uh, do a little comparison. So the Klein Leash 12 Diageo cast strength comes in at 58.5% ABV. And it's 12 years and it's uh, has a second maturation in both PX and Oloroso sherry casks. But it gives no mention of how long the initial maturation was or how long the second maturation is was. Um, and no mention whether it's uh, non-chill filtered or natural color. Although it does state on the front label, natural cask strength which would lead me to believe that it is a naturally presented cast strength whiskey. Uh, so I, I would assume it's non-chill filtered, especially at cast strength, and I would assume there's no coloring added. Um, but it does not say that on there. Diageo is uh, very famous for that. Um, so, I think it's overpriced. Okay, we're going to get into the full review. Um, it has um, become whole, or as, in, as whole as it's going to be, in my opinion. In my opinion, it, it was unsettled a couple weeks ago. It seems to be coming, coming into its own being right now. Um, but it does benefit from time and the glass. I would really pour this and put a cap on it and, and let it, let it sit for as long as you can stand to have it sit 20, 30, 40 minutes even. 
Um, so, um, let's get into the review. So, yeah, so the price on, on, on this is about $195. Client Leash 14, um, I can still find this all day long at $50, but most places sell it for $60, $65, maybe even upwards of $70. But you're getting a 40, you know, Client Leash 14, you're getting a 46%. Um, it does not state whether it's non shield filtered or any coloring added. But this does develop a, a scotch mist if you add some water to it and you chill it down a little bit. Um, it gets very cloudy. So to me, at 46%, this seems non chill filtered. And if they're adding color, I would say very little color. As a matter of fact, you know, the, this Klein Leash 12 cash strength that was finished and extra matured and, and PX and Olorosa Sherry, you would expect there to be some some redness to it, a little more or a little more color. But in fact, um, the 14 year old and the 12 year old are almost identical in color. OK, and so my understanding is the 14 year old is. I think it's all 14 years and ex bourbon. I'm not aware of any Sherry in there. Um, Correct me if I'm mistaken on that in the comments. All right, so let's get into the review of the Klein Leash 12 2020 Diageo Special Release Cast Strength. Okay, the, the nose compared to the 14 is more subdued, compressed, and muted than the 14. Okay, the, 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 the 14 nose just comes alive. It's it's right there. It's it's in your it's in your nose, so you really have to dig deep. But what I've gotten when I've allowed this to air, really air out and open up on the twelve year old is butterscotch. And everyone talks about the waxiness of Klein Leash. It's got that waxy candle smell to it. Um, also, like that those wax lips candies that we used to have as a kid. You know, you put the wax lips and they would have dracula fangs on them or kiss kiss big thick lips you know and and then you would eat them you know so it has that that kind of a smell to it also too i i picked up like toast i don't know if it's roasted you know the roasted barley notes um but a, a slight a slight toasty note and and a, and a, and a slight that wine that red wine note, um, almost like that sour red wine note that you would get. But again, nothing's really jumping out at you here. Um, and there is some, there is some red berries in there as well. You can, you can, and, and a little bit of, and, and a little bit of melon, but you really have to dig. Okay. Now on the palate. Okay, this is this is a bit hot, and you can tell that it's high ABV. It's a bit hot. It has that that alcohol bite, that rubbing alcohol, isopropyl alcohol coming through your your nasal passages. So it is a, a bit hot. It's got a creamy mouthfeel though, and I'm I'm getting a little bit of melon, a little bit of peach. And some berry fruits like raspberry and strawberry. It's slightly sweet. A, a little syrupy, okay, syrupy, creamy, but not syrupy sweet. Um, and you're getting that those herbal notes, and I described it as picture some some herbs like some uh, some lemon, some some uh, balsam rolled up not balsam um basil like some lemon basil and some uh herbal notes wrapped up in like a wrigley spearmint gum so it's got little herbal little spearmint going on in there honey and an intense peppery oak spice um intense uh 
Yeah, there's nothing subtle about this, except the nose is very muted. But it's, it's, uh, it's very ballsy and uh, very powerful and a bit hot. Um, the finish is a medium plus, which was my same similar experience from two weeks ago. And the finish uh, ends with a, a dry chalkiness, okay? And a little bit of salt. And this is just my opinion, right? I'm, I'm really trying to figure out the maturation on this. In my opinion, this was probably 10 or 11 years in refill ex-bourbon casks. Um, maybe even third fill. I don't know, but I'm guessing at least second fill, 9 or 10 years, and then probably one or two years in the PX Oloroso, and I would guess those are definitely refill, um, second, third, maybe even fourth fill, um, because you're not getting any of that uh, sherry color in this, you know, whatsoever, um, nor are you getting any of that, you know, the prominent sherry notes, like you know, the, I'm not getting any cocoa or, uh, or raisins in here or the dried fruits, although am getting one hell of a spice. So maybe there was some European oak in some of these casks for maturation because it is very spicy. Um, so the major differences between the 14 is obviously the price. I could go out and buy four bottles of the Kindleach 14 to one bottle of this, okay? But I... I feel like a sucker. I know I, uh, you know, um, and, and I did not get caught up in the in the marketing of the Giagio thing, but I, I'm really a, a, a Klein Leash fanboy. So that's the main reason I bought this. Um, but the Klein Leash 14, I'm not picking up really any of that butterscotch. Okay. Um, and... The, the the nose and the and the palate are more accessible on the, on the fourteen year old. Um, you you nose it and, and it's, it's got complex nose nose things going nose going on and it's got complexity in the palate as well. Um, so how would I score it? Okay, so I, I voted this as whiskey of the year last year. Um, Before I tell you this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this away at this level in this tube and I'm going to leave it for a few months untouched, really hoping it's going to maybe blossom some more. I don't know. Um, it certainly is not it's not as disjointed or unsettled as it was two weeks ago. I feel it's kind of coming to its own. So I think a fair score for this you have to take money out of the equation. I mean, th this is not worth $195. And I said two weeks ago in my original uh, take on this, in today's market, you know, being realistic about what's going on and the overpricing of a lot of things, um, I would have felt more comfortable paying about $60, $60 less than what I paid. In my opinion, in today's market, this is a hundred and fifteen hundred and twenty dollar bottle maybe a hundred and twenty five okay somewhere in that in that range um, but I need to kind of take that out because it's not worth 195 dollars so just judging it on my enjoyment not factoring in the exorbitant price the extortionate price For my enjoyment, probably more like a 86. Okay, I want to say maybe 85, 86, but I'm, I want to give it the benefit of the doubt and, and I want to be fair. And I, I say that it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a different experience than the Klein Leash 14. Obviously more intense, but I think uh, an honest score for this would be 86. 
if you put price into there, then I would go much, you know, much lower than that. But I think 86 for my enjoyment is a fair score for this Klein Leash 12 year old Diageo 2022 special release. That's my story. I'm sticking to it. If you like today's show, please give it a thumbs up, like, and subscribe, and consider becoming a Patreon with the link in the description below. And remember, folks, no matter how much it costs or how good it is, it's just whiskey, folks. So hats off to you all, and take care.